So is it important to monitor the vitamin D status of athletes? If you'd asked me that question 12 months ago, I would have said categorically, yes, it is important to monitor. And whilst I still think it is, I think we're finding it increasingly difficult to really understand what to measure. So most of us now realize that we measure 25 OHD um, uh, in, in serum, and ideally we would use tandem mass spectrometry. But there's growing evidence that there are ethnic differences in um, vitamin D concentration of athletes, and a lot of that do, due to uh, differences in vitamin D binding protein, and we know that uh, different ethnicities might actually have more bioavailable vitamin D than others. So if we're not measuring the bioavailable vitamin D, um, we're perhaps not measuring the right thing. So I think we need to get better at measuring the right thing. And whilst we can't measure it accurately, perhaps the safest route for now is to not worry about measuring it and just during the winter months give the athletes something like 2,000 international units per day to make sure they're not deficient.